Hey, what's up guys? John here. In 2022, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Salesforce, and Goldman Sachs, they invested heavily, $100 million, into something called Block Power. Block Power has a goal to decarbonize all homes in America. And a startup called Block Power, whose goal is to ultimately electrify every building in America. Bezos then added an additional $5 million through the Bezos Earth Fund, right here, to digitally map out 125 million buildings, essentially the entire country so that everyone could get a free plan on how they can become environmentally sustainable. Now, when I read that, I always thought that sounds, he's doing something for everybody for free. There might be something there uh, that we should all look into, you know, and then it says the company is now negotiating with several cities in California, New York, Massachusetts, and Georgia to do this, essentially allowing them to have a monopoly because they supply the solution to the problems in which these, they say these cities have. And so when you look at the direction that this was happening in 2022, you're like, mm, let's follow this story. Well, now they're working on something called a rain tax. A bill aimed at managing New Jersey's stormwater runoff is being dubbed a rain tax by some. Giving local counties and municipalities the power to collect a tax from properties with large paved surfaces. It's already law in Los Angeles. They're working on it right now in, uh, in Portland, right here. Rain tax, Portland floating homeowners speak out over the proposed stormwater rates. So that every square inch of property you own, you would be taxed based on the amount of rain that hits it. This is not a joke. And the same thing is happening in Philadelphia, right? Two weeks ago, they're calling it a rain tax. Then you look at what they're saying here in Toronto. When you look at everything that's happening, you're gonna see one thing, one thing very, very clearly, that we are in the greatest real estate rug pull in history, 40% of all single family homes in America were purchased between 2021 and 2022 at the height of the market. And so what happened during that period? Cost to borrow capital is very, very low, right? Insurance taxes, relatively low compared to where they are now. Incomes much higher. People had a lot more money. And now that money is kind of fading away with record high inflation, record high borrowing costs. You know, people are in a harder spot today than they've been in a very, very, very long time. And so as they start to pull the rug, from the real estate market, and then they start to implement further taxes, further cost, insurance and taxes, everything's going up. What's gonna happen? Well, people are gonna walk into hardship. People are gonna start walking away from their properties. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how this all ties together. The Inflation Reduction Act, what's happening. I mean, it is absolutely shocking. If you're a renter, if you're a property owner, if you're an investor, pay very close attention to this because it's gonna rewrite American real estate history. Please hit the like button, hit the like button, YouTube will share this content to educate other people about what's going on in the US real estate market. And if you'd like to fix your credit, we would love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free starting session for Monday. Take a look at this. So Toronto might implement a new tax to charge you when it rains. Now what they said here is by tying the charge, the property characteristics. The hope is to encourage Toronto property owners to invest in green infrastructure solutions, such as rain gardens, permeable pavement, and green roofs, which can mitigate stormwater runoff and reduce the burden on the city's infrastructure. Proponents of the stormwater charge will likely align, will likely argue that it aligns with Toronto's goals of becoming a more sustainable and resilient city. By investing in green infrastructure and stormwater management practices, Toronto can not only mitigate the impacts of urbanization on its water systems, but can also adapt to the challenges posed by climate. Furthermore, revenue generated from the stormwater charge could be earmarked for projects that enhance water quality, protect natural habitats, and promote biodiversity benefiting both residents and the environment. However, the proposal will likely face criticism from some quarters particularly regarding the potential financial implications. So you see that, then you see this. America already ordered 20 million heat pumps, 20 million heat pumps to start to decarbonize homes. So this, this order has already been placed. So a consortium of US states and territories just announced a commitment to deploy 20 million heat pumps in the next five and a half years. Today, a consortium of US states and territories representing more than half of the U.S. economy announced a commitment to collectively reach 20 million residential electric heat pumps installations in the next five and a half years. At least 40% of the benefits flow to disadvantaged communities. This new target from the bipartisan coalition of these 25 governors 
was announced alongside a series of multi-state policy goals and commitments to eliminate building emissions. This commitment demonstrates the widespread support for building electrification across the country. So when you see this, you have to ask yourself, what is this going to mean for homeowners, right? Are they gonna get all of this for free? If you own a house, it's about 1,500 square feet, a little three bed, two bath house. To bring that up to these standards, many argue it's in the 40 to $50,000 range, right? 40 to $50,000 range. How many people have that much money? Most people don't have $1,000, right? So heat pumps and heat pump water heaters are core decarbonization technologies that allow buildings to switch from burning fossil fuels for heating and hot water to use an electricity. Instead, making the switch can reduce home heating emissions in every state by 35 to 93% while saving lives through improved air quality and protecting residents from volatile gas commodity prices. So this is what is happening, right? This is what's going to happen. And I mean, they're talking new homes, they're talking low income households, they're talking electric resistant delivered fuel systems. And so when you start to see all these changes coupled with you know, how fast this thing's moving. I mean, look at this, for example. This is California. President Joe Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, into law in August, on August 16, 2022, with the goal of helping households save money on energy bills, improve energy efficiency, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and improve indoor air quality. The act also provides funding for contractor training. The United States Department of Energy estimates the program will save American households up to a billion on energy bills each year and support over 50,000 U.S. jobs. The two programs are being designed and implemented in accordance with requirements established by the Department of Energy. To receive funding allocations, states must first submit applications to the DOE with detailed plans on the project's design. Now, when you click on the preceding information, it'll just show you how fast this is moving. So, for example, 320, just a couple days ago, the tax credits, right? They're working on the tax credits for this. Then they're working on the rebates. Then they're working on how to apply for the rebates. At the application, the retroactive rebate, the necessity of residential electrification. All of this is like the last seven days, 10 days. So you start to see this, please hurry up, right? Then to get this done, roof. They're talking about how they can decarbonize the roof. States are rebating a heat pump installed in 2023. All of this is this month. So when you start to see the change, the speed in which this is going to happen, you're going to start to see one thing and one thing very, very clearly. There's going to be a few businesses that are going to extremely prosper from this. The solar industry, the solar industry is going to become much more in demand. Lenders that are lending on these, um, you know, these improvements, they're going to be popping up left, right and center all throughout the country. You're going to see many companies, many private equity companies stepping in saying, you know what, Joe, you know what, Sally? You need 50 grand to bring your home up to today's standards. I can lend you this $50,000. There's even companies that are already doing this. And what they do is they'll say, I'll lend you this 50,000 and you don't have to pay me monthly. But every time you pay your tax bill, you're going to pay a little bit extra. You're going to pay a little bit extra and that's going to be paid to me. And when you sell that property, you're going to have to get my approval to sell the property. I'm going to have a lien on the house, right? And then there's, you know, penalties and all these different things when, when they try to sell their property to pay off the lender. There's all these things that are unfolding right now. And I don't think many people realize the amount of predators that are going to be stepping in to try to capitalize on this situation, this scenario, all throughout America. There's going to be the lenders. There's going to be the, uh, you know, the companies that are going to be supplying solutions, which, you know, they're just everyday American businesses. They're not the predators, but there's going to be a lot of companies out there that are going to find the ways to kind of pull, you know, things out of this that maybe aren't the most ethical, right? And so when you see this entire situation, this entire scenario, you know, it's a... Uh, it's a real shock because the speed and the velocity in which this is moving, I think it's going to catch almost every American by surprise. It's not just going to be the places like California, Portland, Seattle, you know, New Jersey. It's going to be every, I mean, when they say 25, they say 25 uh, cities already signed on to this. I mean, what does this really look like? If you have 25 cities, more than half of the country has already committed to this, then uh, look at this. I mean, look. It says 25 right here. So 25 governors known as the, you know, this alliance, right? When they say this uh, heat pump acceleration, they're saying here that they're talking about 30 million, targeted 30 million heat pumps installed this decade. So things are about to get really, really, really interesting. 
What do you think about this scenario? Do you think we're going to see a world in which many people are not going to be able to hold their homes because of the newfound costs that are going to be associated with doing these upgrades, these requirements? Because if you own a big house, let's say a 3,000 square foot house, 5,000 square foot house, to decarbonize that property is going to be a lot more expensive, use your imagination, than let's say a 1,000, 1,500 square foot house, right? And so a lot of people that own 1,000 square foot homes or you know 800 square foot homes, 1,200 square foot homes, more than likely would probably have a harder time coming up with $50,000, right? Than someone that owns a 3,000 square foot home, 4,000 square foot home. That person might have the money, even though it might be $100,000, $125,000 to do these upgrades. So you're gonna to start to see a lot of people getting pushed out of their properties. At least that's what it seems. What do you think about this entire situation? Drop low, let's have a conversation about this. I think we're walking into the greatest real estate rug pull in American history. I think we're gonna see a lot of people make a lot of money from this. I think we're gonna see a lot of people lose a lot from this. Drop it below, let's have a conversation. If you'd like to fix your credit to position yourself, what I believe is gonna be the biggest real estate investing opportunity in American history, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, or any negative item in your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com. Click the link in the description just below this video. Schedule a free strategy session for Monday. Catch you next video.